Hi, what we have here is a question on simplifying thirds. We've got a fraction, we've got to show that 2 all divided by the root of 12 minus the root of 8 can be written in the form root a plus root b where a and b are integers. Now to do this I would want to first of all just copy out the question. We've got 2 all divided by the root of 12 minus the root of 8. And what I'd want to do is just simplify the square root of 12 and the square root of 8. And we should be familiar with the fact that we can split this up into one factor which is a square number and the other number which is not a square number and that would be 4 times 3. So we've got 2 all divided by the root of 4 times 3 and then when it comes to the square root of 8 I can see that 4 is a square number that's a factor of 8 so this is going to be exactly the same as square rooting 4 times 2, 4 twos being the 8. So we can use the rule then that when we are working with something like this, the root of the product of two or more values, then we can square root each one. The square root of 4 we know is 2. As for the square root of 3, well I'm just going to leave that as root 3 because I don't know its exact value. And then for the square root of 4, again that's going to be 2 and it's going to be multiplied by the root of 2 because again I don't know the exact value of the root of 2. Now to we have we, now we have to rationalize this, that is get rid of the thirds in the denominator here. And to do that we need to multiply top and bottom by 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2. By doing that, okay, what happens is we're multiplying essentially by 1. 1 in the form of 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2, okay, all divided by 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2. So this is one, it doesn't change the value of this, it will just change the appearance of it. So if we're doing this, 2 times 2 root 3 is going to be 4 root 3, and then 2 times the 2 root 2 is going to be 4 root 2. And we divide all of this by, well, 2 root 3 times 2 root 3, it's like multiplying two brackets together, we can just put brackets around that. So we take the first term, 2 root 3 times 2 root 3 is going to be 2 times 2 which is 4, root 3 times root 3 is 3, some people would say the square root of 9 which is correct but that's still 3, so you've got 4 times 3 which is 12. Now the reason we multiply by a different sign here, we switch the sign, is because what happens next is we get two terms that cancel one another out. And I'm going to write them in, even though you might know that that happens. We get 2 root 3 times 2 root 2 now, which is going to be 2 twos of 4. And then we get root 3 times root 2, which is the root of 6. So we get 4 root 6. Then we do minus 2 root 2 times 2 root 3. That gives us a minus value, 2 twos of 4, and root 2 times root 3 is root 6, so we get minus 4 root 6. And finally we have minus 2 root 2 times plus 2 root 2, so that's going to be minus 2 twos of 4, and root 2 times root 2 is again root of 4, which is 2. So you've got 2 times 2 times 2. In other words, 8. So you've got minus 8 there. OK, we just need to tidy this up. Now you'll notice that 4 root 6 and minus 4 root 6 cancel one another out. And that's why we switch the sign here, to cause that situation. Some of you might know this as what we call the difference of two squares. You always get this result where you just get the first term squared and then you get minus 
the last term squared. Okay, so um, tidying this up, let's just come down here. Well, because I'm starting a new line, okay, I'm just going to copy what we had out here again. So we therefore have 2 over root 12 minus root 8 equals. Well, on the top we've got 4 as a common factor. So we've just got root 3 plus root 2 in there. And on the bottom we've got 12 take away 8, which is going to be 4. And can you see? These two 4's here cancel one another out, leaving us with just simply root 3 plus root 2. And there's your answer. Now another way you could do this question is to not tidy these two terms up. Okay, As I did at this stage, what you could do is multiply immediately top and bottom of this fraction by root 12 plus root 8. If you do that, and then tidy up your values, you should find you come out at root 3 plus root 2. Alright, so I leave it up to you. I would, I would experiment with something like this. This is the only way that you can improve, I feel, in doing any question, say, in maths, is just by trying different versions, comparing the methods and seeing how they work out, which ones are better than others. Alright, so I hope it's given you some idea anyway on this particular question, if it was causing any problems.